This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle in becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in description below. And now please enjoy the video. All right guys, what is up YouTube? What is up everyone, man? It is good to see you guys. I know it is amazing. I'm uploading another video, second date in a row. Maybe subscribe and check out if I upload another one tomorrow. <laughs> so the other day I received a direct message and someone actually asked me, Chris, do you ever plan on doing anything aside from front-end development? And it's so interesting that he actually asked me that. Let's say for the last few months, I've actually been diving into something totally different. Like I could honestly say that for the last few months, I've been moving away from just, I guess you could say web development in general, dudes. Now I'm still working as a front-end engineer. I love it. I still love it just as much as I used to. But to be honest, after doing this for four years, I really wanted to do something that would challenge myself. I really wanted to do something that would uh, push me and just be exciting, to be quite honest, dudes. So, yes, I am planning on doing something and I am doing something that is totally different from just front-end development in general, dudes. I, I'm leaving it. I am honestly, probably after the next six months or after this year, I'm probably gonna be done with front-end development and doing something else. No, it's not just running my own business, but what I've been actually diving into is actually <laughs> learning to hack. I know it, it sounds so cliche and, and I know I, I fit the stereotype. I'm an Asian guy who loves his nice keyboards <laughs> I, and I do wear glasses when I don't wear contacts, right? And I'm learning to hack. And what I mean by that is that I'm actually going to cybersecurity, dudes. It, it's crazy when I really think about this because to be honest, like after be doing front-end development for so long, throughout the last four years, it's always come to my mind, man, too bad I'm not good of enough programmer to learn how to hack. To be a white hacker, by the way. Too bad I'm not that good of a, I didn't go to school to get my computer science degree so I can learn how to just like do some penetration testing, et cetera, thinking that I need a degree for that, even though I've already told people you don't need a degree to make an industry. And so I remember telling myself this the last few years, but until just a few months ago, I've been really diving into it. I've been doing some research, looking at to what are the requirements to get into this industry? What is it that you need to do to actually start like hacking? Now, technically speaking, you don't need a degree to hack. There are a lot of hackers, there's millions of hackers out there do, that have no degree in computer science and do it illegally, <laughs> right? And I'm not saying to do it legally, you need a degree too, because after doing all this research, you do not. It is literally just like front development. And now I'm not saying code wise, but just in regards to really being determined, motivated, and really just diving into it. And you can teach it yourself. And so what I've actually been doing is that I've actually signed up for a course at Udacity. I signed up for their course, a cybersecurity course, just to check it out. And man, it has been so fun, dudes. One of the most important things I've been learning was just how to keep my computer secure, my phone, my iPad, everything, and how to protect myself. And these are things that I probably make a video in the future. Let me know if you want me to. It's really interesting because I did not realize, I, it's, just, it's crazy how anyone could really hack, you, hack your life, hack a computer, hack anything, to be honest. Uh, for example, I'm here, right? I'm here in a hotel and even now, like I don't even want to use the hotel Wi-Fi because as easily as I can get into someone's computer, they can get into mine. And I, and I, I even learned simple things like this, like you, people used to think that Macs are harder to hack into compared to Microsoft computers, but that's not true. It, they're just as easy to hack into, but the only difference is that more people have Windows computers than Mac computers. So if you had to choose between uh, people you want to hack legally, right, who would you rather target? The, the majority or the minority, they'd rather target the majority because there's more of them and there's more people you can take and steal from or attack. And I'm learning all these different things because I remember for the longest time, I used to think my Mac is completely secured. No, it's not. It is so easy to actually hack into a computer. It blows my mind away. And so after just learning all these things, just within the last few months, particularly the last few weeks, dude, it's, it, it, this is so exciting. I'm not going to lie, man. Realizing that I could actually do something that I thought I could never do. And again, I felt the same way front-end development, but it's the exact same thing in cybersecurity. But I don't know if I want to be a cybersecurity analyst. I don't think so. I'll probably go into that first just for fun. It's not even for the, for the money too. What is interesting is that cybersecurity, at least from the research I've done, pays less than front-end developers. I can become a master React developer making 160, 170K a year. I already have four years of experience. Get even better at React.js, become a full-stack developer. I can make that easily. 
But the thing is, I don't like I've never been the type of person to just do something for the money. You know what I mean? I've been the type of person to want to pursue something because it's fun and it gives me it's interesting to me. And that's why I do YouTube. That's why I do um, front end development. That's why I like coding. And that's why I want to like go into cybersecurity. So even though I already have my own business and though it is doing well, it's not doing as well as I want to yet. Even though it pays less. It's something I'd be interested in doing just to, just to see it, just to experience it, to do that for just a couple of years, just for fun. Like when can you ever be someone that, all right, you're not doing it for the money, you're taking less pay and you're doing it because it's more fun, it's more interesting to you. Like I never thought we'd be in that position, but fortunately I am. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm leaving web development I mean, within the next year or two. I don't know what's going to happen to this channel. I'll probably turn into a cybersecurity. I don't know, man. I just been documenting my life, dudes, but Yes, honestly, I am slowly and slowly, slowly moving away from web development and going to something else. Now, in, in, in case you're curious, even after cybersecurity, what else I want to go into is artificial intelligence. I want to go into machine learning, especially with all these CS graduates saying that you need a degree to get into that. That's not true. I know many people who got into machine learning, who got into artificial intelligence and have no degree. Now, I'm gonna tell you it was hard as heck to get those jobs and it was hard as heck to keep that motivation to study something that's so complicated to learn. But if you have the interest in it, if you're passionate about it, you can do it. So yeah, I'm leaving web development. <laughs> um, but again, I still love what I do. I love it as much as I used to. It's just, I wanna try something new, man. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. New video coming out soon. If you can, give this video a like and comment. Again, if if you already do cybersecurity or if you're looking into it too, let me know any details. If you guys know any other YouTubers who talk about this stuff, maybe I can talk with them too. That would be really fun. But anyways, thank you guys. Love you all. This is Krishan, the Life of World Developer, and I'm out. Peace.